we're now going to take another look at the control structure of repetition and this time specifically at post-test repetition as a part of our look at structured algorithms. So in post-test repetition, it involves a condition being checked at the end of a loop. This means that a condition is assessed after the repeated steps have been executed once. The steps that are repeated are known as the body of the loop and with post-test repetition, the program always enters the body of the loop at least once as the condition is assessed after the body. Keywords used in pseudocode to represent post-test repetition include repeat and until. Repeat initiates the loop until assesses the condition at the end of the body of the loop. So if we're going to look at an example of pseudocode, we're going to look at this guessing game scenario once again. So the following sample of pseudocode represents a program that randomizes a number between 1 and 100 and then asks the user to guess the number. The program is to let the user know if they are right, as well as let them know how many guesses it took to pick the correct number. So the pseudocode would start off with begin once again, followed by the name of the program. We would have our series of steps to start off our program. So we need to randomize the number between 1 and 100. We need to set count to zero so we understand how many guesses the user is taking. We need to set user guess to zero so that's been established. And then we need to display can you guess the random number to the actual user. We are now using the repeat keyword to initiate the loop. So we're repeating the following steps. Get the user guess. Set count to plus one to, to say they've had one attempt. Display the count. So we can see that after they've had their first guess, it's going to say one on the screen. Then you say that they've had one attempt at guessing the count. And then we do this until user guess equals random number. So this may take 10 times, it may take 50 times, but every single time the user does an incorrect guess, so user guess does not equal random number, they get a chance to make another guess, the count goes up by another one, and it gets displayed to the user Okay, every time they take another guess. So that is the body of the loop, and as you can see after the until keyword, that the condition is being assessed there, as opposed to pre-test repetition, where we had the while statement at the beginning of the loop, and that's where the condition was assessed. And that's essentially the difference between these two types of loops, the pre-test and the post-test. In pre-test, the condition is checked at the beginning of the loop. In post-test, in this example, the condition is checked at the end of the loop after the until statement. We then need to have the actual display of, you. congratulations, you picked the correct number in this many guesses. And then finally, end the name of the program to end off our program there. So let's look at the same scenario now, but this time in flowchart format. So we have our begin terminal followed by our series of steps. So randomize the number, set count to zero, set user guess to zero, display can you guess the random number. Now we have our stuff from the body of the loop coming up, but we haven't actually set the condition yet. So get the user guess, add one to count, display count, and then assess the actual condition. So it does random number equal user guess. Now, if it doesn't, it's going to be false. And we go back to get the user guess again. And there's our body of the loop and loop set up, okay, in our actual flow chart. If the answer is correct, it's going to be true. Display, congratulations, you picked the correct number in count guesses. So the amount of guesses they took. And that will end off our program. So I hope you can see here as well how post-test repetition, the diamond is placed after the steps in the loop, okay, and then loops back to the actual body of the loop where it initiated, where essentially the repeat statement in pseudocode started the loop. So I hope this gives you an understanding of how post-test repetition differs from pre-test repetition in basically that the condition is assessed at the end of the loop, and meaning that the loop steps have to initiate at least once as the condition isn't assessed until after these steps have taken place.